Hey, what's going on? I'm Brandon Carter, Brandon Carter211.com, and I'm here with Money Mark. How you doing today? What's going on? Okay. And we're here at his album release party. So what was the process like recording this album? Well, look, we, we went to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? We was in Atlanta for four days, you know what I'm saying? We was in the studio from 8 a.m. to 12 at night, every, every night. We did this album in uh, four days. So what was the writing scheme like? What did you go in, wanted to talk about, and want to cover with this album? You know, when I when I write, when I sit up and write, I, I write about the real, you know what I'm saying? My life, my lifestyle, what I'm living, what I'm going through. A lot of rappers these days, they rapping about, you know what I'm saying? The raps don't got no meaning to them. They just rapping about anything. But I, I just did this one on my lifestyle, what I, what I go through from day to day. So how do you want to be seen as different from the rappers that's out now? What do you do? I'm just, I'm the, I'm the real deal. I'm the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no faking with me. This, it is what it is. What does that mean? I mean, I'm the real deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving, speaking facts, giving the truth. How many tracks did you do for the album that you narrowed it down to? Well, we got, we got 14 on the track. We're going to let y'all hear them tonight. Um, the first song we did, you know, we did Siller Me. That's talking about, you know what I'm saying? That's what the cinema is. That's how a nigga made the bag. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know if you're familiar with a cinema bill, but that's, no. what, you know. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> that, that's a bad motherfucker. That's a machine. you going to ship the bottles in. you going to put that money in. you going to That's a vacuum seal. you going to wrap it up for the smell. So it's a vacuum cleaner? Yeah, it's a stop. Nah, nah that, that's the Something to stop the smell of what? Nah, nah. Of any kind of any kind of oh, like a freezer bag. Yeah, it's gonna stop the smell and some shit. That's how you gonna get rich off of that right there. Okay, I I, I don't understand, but <laughs> okay. Who are, your, who are some of your favorite rap artists that inspired you to? Uh, so you know, I man, I like um, I like Money Bag, yo. Um, you you want to go new or old? No, it, whoever inspired you. Tupac. I mean, okay. Tupac off top, Tupac and Biggie. I like to fuck with Scarface. Okay. Um, Who inspired you today? You, you know what? I really back, like. Yo. I really like. I really like how the baby killing the game right now. Oh yeah, he's a nigga got flow, but I really like how. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the niggas they went to Atlanta. They, they from Atlanta. They blew up off, off of uh, quality control mm-hmm. off of QC. But the baby, he did that shit out of North Carolina. He did that shit on his own. I I respect that shit, you know what I'm saying? That shit was hard. And any nigga that don't respect that shit, he a hater. So um, talk about more about your childhood. What was that like growing up? My childhood, you know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, I you know what I'm saying I grew up with in the house with my mother and our father father, with a mother and a father, but you know what I'm saying? Shit 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 was they took care of me, but shit, you know, at a, at a time I hit the streets, you know what I'm saying? And I was about 13, and first of all, I was growing up on my Bel Air. That's, that's the project, on the 30th of Bel Air. So, every nigga 13, 14, they was out selling dope, you know what I'm saying? At 14 years old? Selling dope at 14 years, younger than that. It was niggas out there 12. I'm just telling you, I was 13 and 14. Right, you're right. You know what I'm saying? That's but, your truth. But I was boxing. You know what I'm saying? I started I started boxing when I was like 11 years old. You know what I'm saying? My, my father got me a boxing. And I, I was a great boxer. You know what I'm saying? I had an amateur record. I, I had like 310 fights. I lost like 12 fights. You know what I'm saying? I turned pro when I was like 20, 21. I turned pro and then I had a professional worker of 18 and 1. A lot of people don't know I was signed to 50 Cent, the rapper. Uh-huh. SMS promotions. Uh, I had three fights with 50. I lost my last fight with him. You fought him? No. <laughs> oh. He was he was a promoter. Oh, okay. I was signed to 50 Cent. Oh, man, the whole time I was boxing, I was always had one feet in the rap, one feet in the boxing mm-hmm. game. And one feet in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Because that's, I grew up, I grew up in the hood, you know what I'm saying? So, boxing, boxing did humble me a lot, it disciplined me a lot, but I made more money in the streets than I made in boxing, man. So now you give your all to your music, and what do you want people to take away from this album when they hear it? Well, when they hear this album, I want them to know, you know what I'm saying? 
it's all facts, so they should they should love it. You know what I'm saying? They should love the real. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of a lot of these rappers, like I said, they giving they giving away fake 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 music. Okay. Take it back to the old days when you give them all that real shit. Away. Okay. All right, so tell people where they can find you, your social media handles and everything. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Mark Two Sharp Davis, Facebook Mark Davis. I got a Twitter Mark Davis. Y'all right. can email me, you know what I'm saying? Mark Two Sharp eighty seven at yahoo.com. Are you going to tour or go out to different so, cities? So um, this is what's going on right now. We got the listening party in Cleveland tonight, but uh, tomorrow we hit Atlanta. You gotta listen to party during Wednesday, and then Thursday you gotta listen to party in New York, and then Friday we got a party at the club in New York. Okay. So you about to be everywhere? Yeah, we, we doing it big right now, baby. We trying to make it happen. This is Mark Two Sharp Money Mark. I'm with Brandon Carter Two Eleven dot com. All in.